So for the past few lessons, you've been learning how to change the DOM inside a website. So what I thought we're going to do for this episode is a small project just to touch up on the things we talked about in the previous episodes. So what we're going to build in this episode is going to be a timed message that depending on what time of day the user goes into the website, is going to greet them with a different message. So in the morning it's going to say good morning, in the evening it's going to say good evening, and so on, so on, so on. So what I have here is a very basic index.html page that we're going to use in order to create this message. And it's actually kind of fun to see since we've been using the browser and the console in order to create JavaScript in all the previous episodes. So in this episode, we do actually get to work with an actual HTML page in order to create something using JavaScript. Now, as you can see inside my index page, I don't really have anything special. So what we're going to be doing in this episode using JavaScript only is we're going to create the elements that we want to have on the website, which is going to be just an element that has a message inside of it. And we're going to be styling it and we're going to give it some attributes in order for it to be a proper element inside the website here, only using JavaScript. So to start with, I am just going to go ahead and go below the body tag that we have here. And I'm just going to go ahead and create a JavaScript script tag. Inside the script tags, there's a couple of things we can do before we actually start creating the necessary JavaScript code, such as grabbing the element we want to insert content into inside the website here. Now, right now, we don't actually have any elements inside the body tag. So what we're going to do is we're going to refer to the body tag since we want to insert something into the body tags here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, as the first thing inside the script tag, is I'm going to refer to the body tag. So I'm going to create a variable. I'm going to call get body, and I'm going to set it equal to document dot body. And do notice here that we don't use query selector in order to grab the body because we could, if we wanted to, just go ahead and say query selector, and then refer to the body tag in here like it would with any sort of element we have inside the website. But in some cases, we do have elements that doesn't require that you uh, select it using query selector or document get element by ID and that sort of thing. So in this case, we can't just say body. Then afterwards, I would like to create the element that is going to have the welcome message inside of it, inside the website. So we need to create a new element and insert it into the body. And we're going to use the append method that we talked about in the previous episode. So what I'm going to do here, or not the previous episode, do you think that was two episodes ago? So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say we want to create a new element variable, and I'm going to set it equal to documents dot uh, create elements parentheses and then inside the parentheses I'm going to say I want to create something like an h1 tag just to have something inside the website then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a specific message depending on the time of day that the user has entered the website so what I'm going to do here is before we start creating a text node that we're going to insert into the h1 tag we are going to run a few conditions in order to check what time of day it is currently right now the way we're going to do that is by creating a new date object which is a built-in object we have inside JavaScript so using the date object I can get the current hour of the day I can get the current minute of the day or just the date we have today Day, we can do a lot of things with date objects inside JavaScript. And I will in the future episodes get more into the date objects since we use it quite often in JavaScript in order to do all sorts of things. So for now, just know that we have a built in date object that allows us to get the current hour from 0 to 23 of the time today that you're in right now. So what I can do here is I can say we want to create a new date variable. And I'm going to set it equal to a new date objects and then using this date object we can then go ahead and get the current hour of the day so i'm just going to go ahead and say we want to create a new variable called current hour and set it equal to new or not new date because we just created it i'm going to set it equal to the date variable we have just above here and i'm going to say we want to access a certain property or method inside the data object so i'm going to say dot get hours, which is a method that grabs the current hour of the day. 
So I'm going to go in here and just say get hours. So now that we have the current hour, we can actually run a condition that is going to say, well, if the hour right now is between, let's say, 4 and 10, then we need to tell the user good morning inside the website. If it's between 10 and 12, then it's going to be good noon or a good day. Then it's after 12 to, let's say, 4 or something in the afternoon, it's going to say good afternoon. Uh, we can create all sorts of messages depending on the current hour. So below here, I'm going to, before we create the conditions that are going to uh, create this message, uh, we need to create a empty variable that is going to contain the result or the value of the message that we do need to assign it inside the conditions. Now, this might not make a lot of sense right now, but just go ahead and let us do it. And then I can explain it as we're actually doing it. So right now I'm going to create a empty variable called create text message. And I'm not going to assign it any sort of value. So we're just going to create the variable without assigning it. So afterwards here, we're going to create the condition. So we're going to say we have an if statement. Then inside the condition of this if statement, we're going to check if the current hour right now is between this number and this number in order to print out a specific message. So I'm going to say if current hour is greater than or equal to four in the morning, and then in order to have a second condition, we need to also add a and if current hour is lesser than another value, which in this case is going to be 10, because I sort of think inside my head that four o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock in the morning is morning. Um, then we're going to print out a specific message. So I'm going to take the create text message we created beforehand and inside the if condition here, I'm going to assign it a value, which is going to be a just a regular string that's going to say good morning exclamation mark so if we hadn't created this variable up here before the if condition or the if statement down here then we would need to create a new uh, variable inside each statement which is going to mess it up a little bit and in some cases we can't even grab the variable inside the condition if you create it inside the condition so it's very important that we create the variable before we do any sort of loops conditions you know that sort of thing and then afterwards create the value inside the if statement or loop or whatever you're trying to create here so just sort of have that in your mind for next time you have to create any sort of value based off a condition like we did here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go below and I'm just going to create a else if statement. And inside the condition here, I'm just going to copy paste what we had from before. And I'm going to change the value. So right now it's going to be the previous value that we had at the end here. That is going to be the first value because now we need to get it from 10 o'clock and up until we get to 12 o'clock. Then I'm going to just assign a new message instead that is going to say good day. Then I'm going to copy the else if statement and I'm just going to create a new one. So we're going to set it to 12 to let's say 8 o'clock or not 8 o'clock, 18 o'clock, which is going to be 6 o'clock in the evening. We don't work with AM and PM when we work with uh, programming like we do here. So this right here is going to be good after noon. And I'm just going to copy paste again and I'm going to change it from 18 till uh, let's go ahead and set it to 22 which is going to be the evening so we're going to say good evening and we're going to add one more which is going to be from 22 till 4 so now we're looping back to 4 o'clock which was up here so now we have a condition for each of them and let's actually go ahead and change the last message here so we say uh, good night because that is in the night time, according to my head. And just to have something else at the end here, because in case that we get some kind of error, and you always need to think about errors when you create a JavaScript application. If we get something else than this, let's say for some reason we get 25 as a value inside the current hour, then we don't have a condition that is going to be true. So what we need to do is we need to create a else statement at the end here, just to sort of catch that exception if that does actually happen. And it's going to just print out a uh, some sort of message that tells us inside the website that there is an error inside our code. Or we could write something funny like, are you from a different planet? 
because on different planets they have different hours and that sort of thing. I know it doesn't really make sense since we are using JavaScript which has predetermined hours and it's not a Mars hour uh, you know, schedule we're going at here. And we can always add a small smiley face at the end here if we want to. There we go. So now that we have this, we do actually have a value that has been inserted inside the create text message. And we can in fact go ahead and just sort of test out what we have here. So let's actually go and test out the current hour just to make sure it actually works inside the browser. Now a sort of tip here for you if you get some kind of error inside your application is to go back in your code and say, okay, where's the earliest point that might be an error? Now. According to me, I think it might be after you created the date object. So I could check using a console log, console.log, if we did in fact get uh, the current hour. And we do have it inside our code. So I can console log it, go inside the browser, refresh, go inside the console. And as you can see inside the console, we get 11. I should probably zoom in so you can actually see it. As you can see, we get 11, which means that right now, as I'm making this tutorial, it is 11.24 or the 11th hour of the day. So going back inside the code, we know that this was not a place that there was an error. So we can, in fact, delete it. And if I wanted to, I could just go ahead and console lock the create text message. So I'm going to go below here and just go ahead and console log it out just so we can see what we have. Error finding is a huge part of JavaScript, just in case you want to know, which is why I'm putting so much time into showing you how to console log it inside the console. So it's not for just for fun to waste time. So as you can see, we get good day, which is the message we were looking for. It does actually match up with uh, the hour schedule that we wrote here. So it's 10 till 12, which is 11 right now. So it is the right message. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete the console log here. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, create a text node based off the message here, because this is not a text node. This is just a string that we're going to insert inside a text node, which we're then going to combine with the element we created up here. So at the bottom here, I'm going to create a new text node by creating a variable. And I'm going to call the variable create alert text. I'm going to set it equal to documents dot create text node parentheses and inside the text node here i'm just going to insert the create text variable we got from up here so we should have some kind of result from inside the conditions that we're going to make into a text node so now that we have the text node we can actually go ahead and append the text node to the element we created in the above section up here so i'm going to take the new element we created and i'm just going to go ahead and paste it in dot append child and then I'm going to insert the text node inside the parameter here there we go so now we created the element with the text inside of it so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert the element into the actual website so we did actually refer to the body tag up here by saying create a variable called get body so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same as we did just above here I'm going to refer to what I want to grab and then what I want to insert into what I grabbed. So I'm going to say we want to craft it. Uh, we want we want to grab the new element and insert it into the new body tag by again saying append child parentheses and then insert the new element inside the parameter of the append child method here. So now that we did this, we can actually go ahead and refresh the browser and see what we have here. So as you can see, I refresh and it says good day inside uh, the browser. Now it is a little bit tiny. And what I would like to do as well in this episode is to create a few attributes and styling for this specific element, because if it were to go inside the console, inside the elements tab, you can see inside the body tag that right now, if I zoom in, uh, we don't have a lot of things going on with the element. Right now, we just have a basic element with text inside of it. We don't have a class or an ID or anything attached to this element. So in order to later on grab the element, in case we have an element with, that we have multiple of inside the page, uh, I would like to have a class attached to it. So what I'm going to do is below here, I'm going to grab the new element again, and I'm just gonna go ahead and set a attribute by saying set attribute, attribute. A little difficult to write out when you're talking. And I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new class. 
and I'm going to set it equal to element or not element but message or I could call it welcome we can call it welcome it makes more sense there we go so now when we were to refresh the browser and it loads up it's also going to have a class called welcome inside the website now I should point out that each time you refresh the browser it's going to delete the element because it's going to load the HTML page all over again which right now does not have any elements inside the body tag so it's going to delete the element each time you reload and then it's going to create the element again each time just so you're aware of it so what we can do here as well below is that we can go ahead and refer to new elements and give it some styling so I can say we want to insert some styling by referring to the style property and then in this case here because I want to add multiple stylings I'm just going to go ahead and use CSS text that I'm going to set equal to a string which is going to be just whatever styling I want to apply to the element so in this case I could say we want to text align center I could also give it a new font size and a new font if I want to so we can say font dash size set it equal to let's go ahead and say 60 pixels and font dash family and set it to something standard like Arial because even Arial looks better than what we have as a default so right now if I were to go inside the website you can then see that we also styled it and as you can see inside the elements tab if we were to actually select it you can see we have a class we have a style attribute that has a bunch of styling inside of it so using JavaScript only we created content inside the website as it loaded up and because we wanted the content to be dynamic and change depending on the time of day and not just be static using HTML because you can't just go up here and uh, create an element and say I want to create an h1 tag and I want to insert good morning and then if it's evening then it doesn't really make sense because you can't change it dynamically depending on what time of day it is but using JavaScript we definitely can do that so this is how we do something using JavaScript and I just want to point out that when we have JavaScript and this is very important for you to understand when we have JavaScript we have essentially three different ways we use it the first way is by loading up JavaScript as soon as the website loads inside the website like we just did here. The second way is running JavaScript after a certain amount of time has passed inside the website. So sometimes when you're inside a website you get a pop-up after 10 seconds that is using JavaScript. The third way that we use JavaScript inside a website is probably the most common way that we use it which is whenever the user interacts with the website. So if the user clicks a certain button or if they put their mouse cursor on something of the scroll inside the website whenever the user does something inside the website then we can do something using JavaScript and we can do that using something called events inside JavaScript events is what we're going to talk about in the next episode and this is really something that's important to understand and no in order to do JavaScript inside a website since most JavaScript will be done using events when you want to change something visually inside the website. So I hope you guys had fun with this little exercise here and I hope to see you in the next episode.